Here I'd like to take a look at correlation and covariance. Now, correlation, or Pearson's R, as a review, it measures the degree of the linear relationship between two variables. Correlation ranges between negative 1 and positive 1. A correlation of positive 1 indicates a perfect positive relationship between two variables. Or another way to think about this is higher scores on X are associated with higher scores on Y, if we think of X and Y as our two variables. A correlation of negative 1 indicates a perfect negative relationship between two variables, or higher scores on X are associated with lower scores on Y. Okay, so what is a covariance? While many people are familiar with correlation, covariance can be a bit more tricky. But why is that? Well, while correlation ranges from negative 1 to positive 1, covariance is not bound by any range at all. And while a correlation from one study can be directly compared to another study to determine or assess which was larger, covariance typically cannot be directly compared from one study to another. So that makes it harder to get a handle on it as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few examples. Some correlation examples, you can see all these values here. Notice how they all are within that negative 1 to positive 1, as I'd indicated previously. But if you look at covariance, look at these values. You can have 243, 12, 1.5, negative 432, 82, and so on. So covariance can really take on any value, as I had said before, whereas correlation is all bound by negative 1 to positive 1. So this is what makes it hard to understand really what a covariance is when you get a value like negative 432 or 12. It can be hard to get a handle on that. But what I want to do is break it down to help you get a better understanding of what it really is measuring. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to simplify and better understand this measure. Here's a quick math review. If we have any number times 1, it is just equal to that number. Right? So 6 is equal to 6 times 1. We'll just drop the 1 and call the answer 6. Now I know this is very basic, but bear with me. We're going to relate this to correlation and covariance in just a minute. So we can use this fact to help better understand covariance. Here's the formula for the covariance between two variables, x and y. Okay, and this shows us here covariance of x and y is equal to the correlation between x and y times these two terms. 